Hey, what is going on you guys? My name is Joe. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. Today I'm going to be customising the Benefactor Shafter. Um, the Shafter, just the normal one. This is um, a car that I have actually bought in real life. This is a Mercedes C-Class or this is the C63 AMG I believe. But tomorrow morning I'm picking up my Mercedes C-Class AMG Sport. So I thought, you know what, we may as well um do this now then we may as well customize the original shafter so that's exactly what we're going to do this probably isn't going to be a super long customization video because i don't believe there's much customization for this shafter i know there's more for the shafter v12 and there's also more for the schwarzer which is the coupe version of this car basically or the coupe um now the schwarzer got updated um what do you call it the schwarzer got updated customization not too long ago I think it was last year so I'm gonna be doing that as well and in the last video with me and Josh doing the clucking bell thing I actually bought at the end of the video I bought the Glendale as well so um, my benefactor collection is growing um, there's still a few that I need and I don't know if you can even get them anymore in fact while I'm here let me quickly have a look so if I go on to Warstock and I go to sort by price no way man have they removed the, the dubster 6x6? Six six six? I think they have. That is a massive shame. So I don't even think I'm going to be able to get the dubster 6x6 six six now. Because I think that they've took it out of the game. And I don't believe there's any other way of getting it anymore. But uh, anyway, that's you know going a little bit off track. So... I'm going to head to my auto shop and I'll be right back with you guys when we are in the mod shop. So, be right back. Alright, here we go. We are in the mod shop. It is time to do some modding. Also, what are those... Uh... Oh, damn, is that a... I believe that's the uh, shafter that I've actually got as a customer vehicle as well. That's kind of funny. But uh, anyway, no armor for this one. Race brakes, bumpers. We've got custom front bumper or carbon. You know what? I never put carbon on anything. So I'm actually going to put carbon on this. Um, upgrade level 4. Exhaust. Oval exhaust. Chrome tip or titan. Ooh. That titanium exhaust is cool. We got the chrome grill or the stock grill or the mesh grill. I actually like the badge. I've always said this. I like the badge on the benefactors. So I think I'm going to keep that. Uh, you know what, we will go for, why not, we'll go for a vented hood this time, carbon vented, I'm, I never really go for this sort of stuff, so I'm going to do a little bit of a different build on this, I'm going to go for SA exempt like I always do, and I actually need to pick up a plate for my vapid bullet as well, which is one thing that we are going to do at the end of this video before I forget, so we're going to go with white for this. And we're going to match the bonnet with the black. Yeah, that looks good. That looks really nice. Let me know what you guys think of that. And roof. I can even go with a carbon roof. I hope I can go with a carbon boot. Oh, we can go with that carbon trim all the way around as well. Now, we could get this carbon spoiler to go with it. But low-key, I actually like this high-level spoiler. It looks almost stock, and I really like that. We may as well lower it, get the race transmission turbo tuning oh you can't paint the boot carbon that's a little bit annoying right okay rims so this hasn't taken very long at all again this is just the og um shafter you know not the v12 version this is the original one so i'm going to be taking a look around what we can get on this those look quite cool on it i'm kind of maybe actually high end i never use high end wonder if there's anything in that that might say so oh yeah hell yeah that suits it really nicely. Oh yeah, that's that's clean. And we'll put a light smoke on. And do you know what? I'm going to put white neons on this. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the car done. That literally only took me like two minutes or something like that to customise. And I think that looks pretty clean. I don't know what you guys think, but I like it. I like it a lot. So, 
we're going to take this thing for a drive and uh, yeah. Now this isn't going to be a world beater by any means. This is the original, look at those exhausts. That's a very Mercedes AMG thing, the quad exhaust tips. This is actually quite quick. This is surprisingly fast. I didn't expect it to be this quick. But all in all, extremely clean looking. Why would you do that car? Honestly, the AI in this game, I'm sure it's coded to hit you. But um, yeah, that is awesome. All in all, I think this is a really nice build I've gone with. I need to figure out like a route that we're going to start taking on the when I do these videos. So whatever route I do now, from now on, is the route that we're going to take. So we're going to go right round LS in this car. And I can give you guys my thoughts. Straight away, the, uh, the straight line speed, actually pretty good. I absolutely love those quad exhausts. They look mean. And uh, we're going to do a big, massive hot ring race around LS. And then, obviously, I'll end up back at the CEO garage. So the way I'm going to do it, we're just going to go right round the outside of LS onto the highway, right round across the, the big old bridge, and then we'll end up back at the office. So straight away, handling, pretty decent. Obviously, I haven't done any tight corners in it yet, but I kind of feel like Mercedes-AMG are kind of made for these, you know, more... Oh, no! That was close. Motorway mile munching. Which is why I bought mine. I can't wait to pick mine up tomorrow. It's going to be so good. It's it's like it's my first automatic car, but it, because it's the AMG line, it's got the paddle shifters and stuff as well. So really looking forward to getting that. That's in real life as well. I'm so happy that I've I finally got a Merc, and uh, yeah, I'm loving this Shafter so far. It's not obviously not going to be nowhere near as fast, and it doesn't sound as nice as the Shafter V12. I've also bought the armored one. Um, I think some of the only cars I need to get now are the the Dubster the what else the dubster 6x6 i don't believe you can even get that anymore i'm gonna have to look that up what else the feltzer um the krieger i need to get the krieger i don't know if that's still in the game available to, for purchase but i believe it is from now on guys this is i'm, I'm taking on board what rabid bites said this is going to be the route that we take with every car now we're going to be going right round ls as you can see and basically we can just go right along the motorway it's the route that i took if you guys didn't see my cinematic kind of techno highway racing video for the vorschlag hammer ironically just called vorschlag hammer in all capitals then go check that out but all in all this car's really nice for an og car from 2013 it's quick the quad exhausts look absolutely mint on it they look mint um and yeah it's it's just good man it's pretty good really enjoying it I think the white neons and the white and black goes really well on this. Although saying that, I do think that this would suit those rims maybe blacked out a little bit better. So perhaps I'll do that. Um, oh, we got a cheeky little skid there as well. Hell yeah. Get out the way, BMWs. You know that Mercs are better, in my opinion. Mercedes is my favourite out of uh, Audi, BM and Merc. Although saying that, I'm thinking of having all three of my garages in this game being collections of all of the benefactors, obeys, and um, benefactor, obey, and ubermacht. So we're going to have BMW, Audi, and Merc, the whole collection of each, all in each floor of my, or each separate garage in my office. But for now, I hope you all enjoyed this customization video. I will be back with another one very soon, which is probably going to be the next one that I have to customize in the um the benefactor lineup again as you can see i've got the old the old school glendale and vorschlag hammer there so there's one of the shafters we'll probably do the schwarzer next which is the three door coupe version of this but i hope you all enjoyed i got my benefactor racing jacket on and i'll see you all in the next video take care guys for now hope you're all having a great day peace